All right. So, Abzan Hero, if you've been living in a box, Hero in standard right now refers to Hero of the Precinct 1. Esper Hero is one of the best decks last season. It's an Abzan variation of something similar to that. So whenever you play a multicolored card, you get a 1-1 white human creature token. The big gain that this deck has possibly picked up from the, the new set M20 is keep this here an Abzan legendary card it says your legendary spells cost one less to cast which is sweet so this card on three curves into these five drops on four which is nice this card also says exile two legendary cards from your graveyard until end of turn each legendary card in your graveyard gains you may play this card from your graveyard so this is a piece of pseudo ramp that also generates card advantage um, we have a ton of different legendaries in here. You'll notice I added a couple of Mara in as an extra legendary. All Planeswalkers are now legendary spells. These are legendaries. We've got copies of Othakaya here, which is a legendary enchantment. I'm trying Journey to Eternity in here for the first time because it is also a legendary enchantment in addition to being a sweet piece of value. So... We'll, uh, we'll see how this goes. So this is this is a new card that I'm really interested to try out, and I'm curious to see if this ends up being unplayable or if it, maybe it's kind of sweet and interesting. Curving curving hero on two into journey on three seems potentially really neat. Yeah, it's also a three four for four, three four for three, which is like good in the red aggro matchup. Esper still be the boogeyman with M20 coming out, or do we get some good hate cards? So here's here's the thing about Esper. It's really hard to print a hate card for three mana Tefri. Because three mana Tefri at his absolute worst reads draw a card, gain a life. Frequently it reads draw a card, gain a life, tempo one of your cards back to your hand. And not infrequently as well, he basically reads win the game by locking your opponent out of playing Magic the Gathering. Rotting Registrar was actually really good in the last deck that we played. I was pretty impressed with it, especially off of Land War Elves. Felt very reasonable on a low-to-the-ground aggressive deck that was also a little bit disruptive with things like Assassin's Trophy. Our hand, our deck's kind of mana hungry, so I'm going to keep this hand that has all my colors in it and gets to gets to guaranteed play magic. The temple hopefully helps us prevent flooding out a little bit if we can draw some lands. Maybe. It depends on what it looks like, Spider. If it was trying cards from the new set, most likely. If it was just a stock list from last season, probably not. But again, if your your answer to answer your question, would Jeff play X? You can always submit it using the form on the website to find that find that out. Huh? So do I Amara on two? I think I'm just supposed to trophy this runaway steamkin, huh? So either way, we're playing four. Is do I Amara or do I trophy the steamkin? Trophy is pretty valuable if they have, like, a Chandra. I think I'm going to play the Amara this turn. If they have, like, Chandra or Frenzy, playing Trophy feels pretty bad. And while the Amara is likely to die here, I give myself likely the chance, unless unless they have triple one mana spell this turn, I still have the chance to draw, like, an Othakaya next turn to kill the Runaway Steamkin. Or, like, a Mortify to hold the Trophy for something else that those cards can't answer. We got a spectacle card here. We're gonna run and light up the stage. Yep. That's a couple of bricks. Would a miser command the dreadhorde have a place in this 75? What problem are you looking to solve by adding command the dreadhorde to this deck? What issue do you think it has that you're fixing by putting that card in?
Uh, in a lot of my builds, I've been substituting check lands for temples. Did I just cash this in? I think, I think I just block, right? Actually, what if I don't? That forces them to use the shock? Do I stand? Like, they only have one card in their hands here, right? I guess I gain two this way because the shock has to get used next turn anyways. Yeah, they have they have to use the shock next turn anyways. The down the upside to not blocking is that um, I could potentially get an attack in next turn, which would which could potentially be nice. I'm gonna go ahead and do this now. I'll play this tapped, and then I get to curve uh, Soren into Tolsmir here. It's a real shame we didn't hit a. Another piece of removal here. If my if my opponent finds a Frenzy or a Chandra, they could potentially run away with the game. But if they don't draw any of their high impact cards at this point, we are pretty far ahead with uh, with these two cards in hand and the lands to cast them guaranteed. So hoping to hoping to fade those big scary red payoffs. Zora Mathematic for temples over checks. So the reason you don't want to cut shock lands for temples is because every shock land you cut makes all of your check lands worse because temples don't put check lands into play untapped while shock lands do. So if you cut shock lands for temples, you're giving yourself a ton of always tapped land because of how check lands work. I mean, that's not true, T TZFT. The steam can had two points of damage marked on it. So their last card could have been basically anything. There's by by no means is there a guarantee that it was this card. Yeah, I needed a mortify or a trophy there. Pretty good chance we uh, we get run over by this frenzy. If this if this frenzy is average or above, we're probably dead here. They they have one or two bad turns, we might be okay. I think five is probably the ceiling on temples you want to play in most decks. So I think I, I think I have four in here. Four four is probably reasonable. With Chandra, they're incredibly unlikely to brick off. That being said, if I get Tulsmir down and then I curve into Soren, giving things life flank, maybe we could race. Yeah, aggressive decks, the dynamic is different, Dan. In. So, like, in mid-range decks, especially if you don't have a lot of one-mana plays, I think four to five temples is fine. In aggressive decks, you definitely want fewer. Before anybody suggests it, read Vraska before you recommend I use Vraska to kill Experimental Frenzy. Please and thank you. Uh, the update on the 8th will likely read no changes in all formats with a description of why data implies that Hagak is fine even when it's not. No, we don't fight the goblin because if we fight the goblin and they point it at my face, I don't gain three. I think I'm going to have to kill this inside of combat, so. It's, it sucks to take six off of it, but it is what it is. Use Vraska to kill Chandra. That's fair. I didn't I didn't point that out about Chandra. This card. This card's really sweet. I played a couple of matches with a green-white bow deck last night because Tolsmere with the new Night Pack Alpha is absurd. It might be might be my new favorite thing. You don't gain three either way, because the way Tolsmere is worded, when a wolf enters the battlefield under control, you gain three life and you may fight up to one target creature you don't control. So when a spell or ability in Magic the Gathering loses all of its target, that spell or ability is countered. So when you choose to give Tolsmere's ability a target, you are choosing to give up the option to have it not be countered.
So if you if you choose to fight, you have to fight. Why is Hagak a problem? Depends on who you ask. The answer to that question varies wildly. We did, we did, Issy. That was one of the one of the interactions I put together for that deck explicitly. All right, so I think I start by playing this land and attacking Chandra here. I guess I missed two points of damage or two points of life. They don't necessarily block though if I if I play Soren first. Because if I play Soren first, I'm not threatening to pump Thorn Lieutenant to kill Chandra. Hey, Greek Jogurt. Thank you for the prime support. I appreciate that. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for keeping me around. Twitch usernames are great. Was that the best draw on the deck? I think that was the best draw on the deck. So I... I think I minus five and get back Tulsmir. And then this fights this. I gain three. And then I can play this. Shoot. Chain Whirler. Your life's about to end. I've suffered worse. I mean, do I kill Frenzy or do I kill Chandra? Or do I kill Frenzy? Or I think... How do we feel about just attack them? Trophy Chandra. I think I just do that. I think, I think it's Chandra. I think I just try and race this card at this point. And like, if I'm attacking the Chandra, I have to take a bunch of damage to do so, which doesn't seem particularly profitable on my end. So like, I have to hope the Frenzy breaks off, but we're like, not in an impossible spot here. Well, so I could have killed this and attacked Chandra for two is what I'm saying I could have done there, chat. And like, we're probably still dead no matter how we slice this. It's, it's unfortunate that our Sorin took one and we couldn't have lifelink through the turn to gain a couple extra. Yeah, I think, I think there's a good chance we don't get a draw step mid-valley. Like, if we get another turn, we get two draws, so we have Vraska too, but there's a good, good, good chance we don't get another draw step here. I'm not dead yet! I'm not dead yet! Yes! Yeah, Josh gets my prime, uh, has a good point. I could have Vraska the Chain Whirler attacked for two. Now I'm now I'm dead. And if I would have if I would have gained two there, I wouldn't have been dead to this Pyromancer, right? I'd be at two, and then I get to gain one with Vraska to have a draw step still. Couple of mistakes on my part. Couple of mistakes. Cage does stop frenzy. It is quite the sweet interaction.
Uh, they didn't have the monkey in play. I'm talking about the previous turn when they had Pyromancer plus Chain Whirler in play. You think D-Spark's good enough? D-Spark's kind of narrow. And I have like, I have two Knights. I have four Trophies. I have a Mortify. I can attack their Planeswalkers. I guess Phoenix is a huge beating. You gain three life with Tulsmere without fighting things. So this fights up to one thing. So you can choose to fight nothing and still gain three. So what I what I did was wrong. You can still gain three if they have nothing to fight. I think I like this. I could see the argument to despark, but I have I have I have Kaya to help deal with Phoenix too. How does Big Chandra kill opponent's lands? Any green source in the sand's pretty good. Thanks for the five months. I appreciate that, Frozen. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. Thanks for keeping me around. If we brick on green for a little bit, I still got plenty of heroes to put into play. Hey, Shadowfall. I'm doing swell. Well, Nissa Nissa lands are elemental, so big big Chandra doesn't kill Nissa lands. Those two those two planeswalkers work well together. That's a shield without a sword, too. Let's fix that, Shadows. What deck's done the best so far? Both Green Black Rock and uh, Green Black Rock and uh, Team Chandra were very reasonable so far. your finest green sources please gosh it's even untapped and painless that's so good that's so good chat what 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 even was that animation i guess i guess he's got a scroll guess i guess he's got a scroll Uh, we've not played Salty Flash on stream. It was just a deck idea I had posted in Discord last night. It's a shame I don't have a land. I think I need to play this and kill. And kill this. If we had a lane, we could have gone hero plus Kaya for four. Yeah, actual, actual factual lightning helix. Two mana, two mana shoot your thing. And you know what's great? You can re you can use the oaths to help you recast things and recast the oaths. You cannot join the Discord using a phone. However, once you are in the Discord server, you can uh once you're in the Discord server, you can use it for mobile just like any other server. You think the new Chandra gives mono red even more of an edge? I don't think any of the new Chandras are very good in traditional mono red like what my opponent's playing. I think that I think uh three and six mana Chandras are incredibly sweet in a variety of different things, but I don't think mono red is, is one of them. I'm 
knew you needed my help. Yeah, three four three four is a great stat line. Land would be wonderful. Oh, <sighs> yeah, I know, cat. It sucks. Guess you don't need me anymore. The shuffler's out to get us, buddy. Why aren't you blue? Why aren't you blue? There you go. Who's a good blue kitty? Who's a good blue kitty? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. I'm starting to hate the cat. <laughs> Beside me. Do 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 do. Well, like the worst part is right. Like we don't even just need lands at this point. Like we need lands plus spells. So we're probably dead because like the spells in our hand don't let us win the game or don't keep us from dying. Hey, Sentry! Thank you for that for your support. I appreciate that. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. Thanks for keeping me around. The loving embrace of the Platinum 4 rank floor. Not quite as cozy as the Diamond 4 rank floor, but it'll it'll do in a pinch. Hey, Cap Dude, thank you for the brand new Prime support. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for keeping me around. RDW is a hard matchup. Fundamentally disagree. I think my 4 Thorn Lieutenant, 4 Oath of Kaya, Toll Smear deck is probably fine against red deck wins on average. When I can, well, I can actually play Magic the Gathering and have a balanced draw. Most every deck is bad against RDW when it doesn't draw a third, a fourth land. Just kind of how the format works. Red deck, the red deck explicitly is very good at punishing people who stumble. Speaking of getting punished, uh, I guess I should have played Thorn Lieutenant on two against blue white lands. Guess I should have played Thorn Lieutenant on, on two. I mean, the new mulligan rule makes everything more consistent. So any deck that's like reasonable doesn't really change. Isn't, I'm, aren't you all at home incredibly happy that this format is very healthy and gets to be the baseline for the new, the new non-rotating format? I'm so glad that Historic will be headlined by this card and his friends. I think that's completely, completely reasonable. Right on schedule. Keep up the pace. <sighs> and like this, this entire game was decided by the fact that I played the wrong two drop. Like if I'd have played Thorn Lieutenant, we'd have immediately killed their Time Raveler. Yeah, this temple, this temple's kind of screwing with us, right? Like, if this temple was untapped, I'd get to go Tristani into Ugin guaranteed, but I currently don't get to do that. I think I'm just playing Tristani because I kind of need creatures into play to pressure this. Yeah, it looks like they're just playing blue, blue, white, Marty. I feel like if they were playing black, they likely wouldn't have an excellence binding in their main deck. Much more malleable You're gonna go ahead and tuck that in, and then we'll uh, we'll cleansing Nova, kill my board. Well, I've done the hero thing. Is, that, is that how that, this works? Sounds right. Sounds right. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, nifty. This, uh, this kills Tefri. He's saying, he's saying there's a chance. Take a chance on me. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. We need to do 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 do. I wonder what the odds are they're playing some of the wreckage. I am not making this up as I go. Playing like blue white super friends over there. I will lend you my strength. I will lend you my strength. All right. Attempt the first. Uh, goblins, Maris? Goblins is definitely reasonable. Get him. Get him. This is hardly my worst defeat. This is hardly my worst defeat, chat. Oh, Golos is a card. Uh, yeah, that's probably fine. It was like, it was like settle adjacent to be fair. It wasn't exactly settle, but it was like in the same realm of settle. It was worse than settle you didn't get. Well, there's only one more basic in my deck. I mean, ugh. maybe I'm supposed to bait with Soren there. Maybe I'm supposed to like play Soren to try in. I guess I don't have anything good to get back yet. They're getting low-ish on resources. So search for Escanta. Yep. This dealing one plus Soren dealing one keeps them from drawing another card here, which is nice. Hey, Skamos. Thank you for the four month reset. I appreciate that. Welcome back. If I God's willing my creature after Reckless Rage, it doesn't. Does it counter the spell? It doesn't, right? No, because uh, it has two targets. A spell's, a spell's only countered upon resolution if it loses all valid targets. It's just like if they kill your creature after you've Reckless Rage, you still get the Feather Trigger because the Rage still resolves. Jump block here. Because this, this forces the down tick. My sword is your end. Focus and just keep an open mind. Uh, I think they just played the district, right? Here's my token. So close! We were so close! We were so close! We were like, we were like this far away from like really being in here for a little bit. And then it all went, then it all went to hell.
Tristani and Tulsmere are kind of slow and not very good here. Uh, Journey, Journey to Eternity is probably great, actually, if we can get that going. Let's leave those here. Attacks! Thank you for the brand new Prime support. Welcome, welcome. I need to cut five cards. Ugh. Need to cut five cards. Kai is probably not very useful here. Oh, I forgot to put a... I, I need to put a ticker on screen till Teferi rotates. Only, only, uh, 14 more months of Teferi. 15 more months? 15, 14 and a half, but who's counting, really? Uh, this is probably fine for finishing off Planeswalkers and also generates some value. Oh, we are, yep. Hmm, maybe this many oaths is bad. Isn't Journey really bad against Baby Tef? Gosh, it is, isn't it? Yikes. Alright, we're gonna cut that card after this batch. Unplayable against Tefri. Like, like many Magic the Gathering players ask the question, what cards aren't unplayable against Tefri? Morghaven, thank you for the brand new tier one sub, I appreciate that, welcome. Do -do 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 -do. I think I just take that and then we try not to attack with this. Mm, I guess I guess I could have just played some Bell Grove there too. I think I just need a higher impact spell than that. Let's cut my cheeky journeys. I'm gonna throw a D spark in the main. I'm gonna add another Raska. This is 100% a mid range deck. This is not an aggro deck. Which last, last season, we ended up taking this deck off of the website after playing with it for a little while. Because it just isn't able to keep, wasn't able to keep up with like mass manipulations and the various Esper decks playing things like Command the Dread Horde. Let's 
feeling. Feeling like it's probably not going to make it back up there again this season. Yeah. And honestly, I think that's kind of one of the defining factors of like what I consider to be good healthy formats is if I can't make if I if if mid-range brews just get automatically crushed by so many different things, it's just like mid-range mid-range is some of the most fun magic to play. So like having any uh, interesting mid-range idea automatically being squashed out feels real bad. Think I keep that. Against turn one, turn one girl land. Hey, Maris, will do. Thanks for the support. That might not be up tomorrow. I need to see if I have time to do build around play, but it'll definitely be up by Friday or Saturday at the latest. Are they a feather deck without white mana, maybe? A card. That card's kind of sweet and feather. Be surprised if we meet again. Why so angry, Vraska? Don't dwell on what's about to happen. Well, at least, at least our opponent's stumbling while we flood. We've got, uh, we've got that going for us. Breaker's pretty good. Gets to, gets to run down Vraska here before Vraska can kill him. It seems fortune favors you. If my opponent's got some cards that target their creatures, this uh they're gonna draw they're gonna draw a lot of stuff. Tiny Tef is better than Siege Rhino. I mean, like, so again, from an from an ultimate power level perspective, Tefri isn't necessarily strictly very high on the power level scale. It's just the number of things that it does to the format outside of power level considerations just the number of like metagame style things that pushes out is definitely obscene the the play the play patterns it generates are a large part of why people would like it gone at least at least siege rhino has the decency to kill you whereas like little tef just like takes the game and draws it on Volpert, thanks for 13 months. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Wait, I can just get the Tristani back, right? Or are we are we killing my are we killing my sword? Yep. Uh they're dead to a land then, right? I guess this is the line they have to take though. 
They, like, have to attack Sorin, otherwise Sorin just gets back Tristani. Maybe they're hoping to power through that next turn. Then, like, a, uh, a sixth, a sixth land lets me. Let's just go, like, land, pump, <laughs> smack you. You're working up my appetite. Auratek, thank you for the three-month resub. I appreciate that. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. Thanks for keeping me around. All right, so probably... I don't think that's true at all, just lucky. In fact, if you go if you go back and watch, you can watch us get dumpstered by Mono Red. I think, I think aggro is in a fine spot overall. I think the aggro... I think there's a lot of good anti-aggro tools, but there are also a lot of really powerful aggro cards, which is a good thing. Like, get people getting to play powerful cards on both sides of games tends to be fun. In fact, a big part of what, what makes Tefri and Narset such bad cards that aren't fun to play against is because they don't let people play cards on both sides. They explicitly encourage you not to do that. I think that's all I want to do. Just, like, bring in this. I don't think Moment of Craving is very good here. I guess they probably have a Danto Vanguard, but this is like, that's like all it kills. And I can just like try and block that indefinitely. Give this a try. Yeah, I, I also skipped Aetherworks Marvel Standard. Yeah, I played I played a couple of tournaments in there, but it wasn't it wasn't like I was streaming it. It was like uh the invitational's a split format, I guess I'll practice. Hey, hey BDP, thanks for the 19 months, I appreciate it. Welcome back. Do -do 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 -do. If this into removal, into removal. No, I think I think it sucks no matter how much mana it costs. In my opinion, the really small way in how you would fix little Tefri is you would have him start with three loyalty. So that way you'd force people to choose do they do they want to draw a card or do they want to keep their planeswalker? I think you just have to be like, pick one or the other. You don't get to do both. Uh, I'm not gonna block next turn, so I might as well attack here. Have we played Keith's yet? He held the board down for a little bit against Mono Red before we stumbled and died. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hold this back. Because I would like to uh like to not have Vraska die next turn, ideally. Pity we couldn't have been allies. Pity we couldn't have been allies. So this this Dorko right here is Keith's. a beating they get to get both of them you know it's um it's kind of funny you mentioned that spank but uh the i actually just emailed with the fandom folks and i think i'm gonna be playing i'm gonna be playing in their tournament next week My opponent really does not like bluffing. If I was if I was them, I'd just be like slamming this into my 3-4 before they played anything. Like pretty low chance I call, I think. And also the Teamer Climb deck was a Twitch Rivals tournament. 
which is similar, but tends to have a little bit more viewers than the fandom thing, so it's an official Twitch thing. All my cards suck. The Soren doesn't accomplish a lot. I think I just like play the Soren as hey, look a distraction. I'll taste your neck. Taste my blade. Attack and hope for the double block? Why would that be good for me? Why would I why would I want them to double block? Why why would they double block? Do 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 Think we're gonna think we're gonna move along to the next deck after this one. This one. This one's been a little brutal today. I don't think I don't think this one's gonna make it back out of the website chat. God's, God's willing is very good. Yep, probably bottom the Tristani here. Sucks that this hand doesn't have removal, but it has all my colors, so it's functional and it's to keep. Drop the Temple Garden to play on one here, so if we draw a Forest, we can uh, play the Amara without uh, without taking any damage. Uh, play M20, get you three free packs. Removal spell is exactly what we wanted for Christmas. And London, London Mulligan, so good. Such a wonderful change, really glad they pulled the trigger on that. Hey, Finn Dorsal, thank you for the two months of support there. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Look at my, look at my value. Get my 1-1. One, one. Maybe that Mortify was a little aggressive. I don't know. Leaving this card around is kind of scary. Trophy's a good pickup. Oh. Yeah, we're just gonna do this. Maybe. Yeah, Knight, Knight's not that good in this matchup. It, like, kills exactly their enchantment. Or, like, gains a little bit of life. Yep.
Hey, TJ. Uh, I think I want to just trophy this now. Because notably, my opponent doesn't have any white mana up. And if I let them untap for their turn, they could, like, God's Willing or something to protect it. Or if they're still playing the Indestructible card. I think I just want to pull the trigger on this one proactively. This does unlock their second white source, though, which gives them the ability to play Feather Out, which kind of sucks. We've been stumbling on that. Yep. The Team Chandra list on the website. No, there's no standard decks on my standard decks page right now. Uh, it should be linked in the deck queue, and you can also find that on my stream decker page. I think we're, I think we're dead. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be done with this. Does Feather want any temples, or is it too much aggro? It definitely wants some temples. Probably at least, at least two. Like Feather, arguably wanted some guild gates last season. I like temples are much better than those. Abzan hero. You are still the clunky, incredible disappointment you were last season. I have no words for you other than delete, delete. 